Hi, I'm Katie Gorsuch with Explore WIU. Um, today I'm talking to Jonathan Wilcoxon, who is an alumni of the School of Music. He did the music therapy program. He's also um, a fellow Cantonite um, from Canton, Illinois. So um, he's going to talk to us about his experience at Western and how it has helped him to his um, career path and where he is today. So Jonathan, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Um, no, you're from Canton, but um, you know, a little bit of background and then why you chose Western as your college of choice. Yeah, um, I graduated in 2005 from Canton and I was really big into the music department and the mm -hmm. theater. Um, so I wanted to pick a university that offered me a lot of options mm -hmm. in that realm. And I'm going into school, I was a music ed major. And so, mm -hmm. um, one of the professors there actually was my elementary school music teacher. Oh, okay. Was yeah, that Kathy? Uh, Dr. Lapka. Yeah, Lapka. Uh, yeah. So she, um, she was a big inspiration in that, in that mm -hmm. role. And so going to IMEA, which is the, the music education association, like festival, mm -hmm. uh, I got to meet her and um, or see her again and just kind of hear more about WIU and that was a big, um, a big, a big reason why I decided to go there was friendly faces. Yeah, so. I remember doing IMEA too. So I remember going to Western <laughs> and all that, doing the solos and singing the big chorus. So I know I agree. That's always a fun place to, you know, once you know those people and know the campus, mm -hmm. it's really nice. So. Yeah. Um, so that's why you chose Western. Um, and then you said you changed to the uh, music therapy. So what got you on the track from moving from music education to music therapy? Uh, so when I went into school, I initially wanted to do music ed and special education. And okay. I could double major just because they it's too many classes. Mm -hmm. um, they're both very intense majors. Mm -hmm. And so I chose music because that was my first passion. And about my first semester, I met some music therapy majors. And kind of toyed with, is this like, is this right for me? Mm -hmm. And I didn't do it until my junior year. So I okay. officially switched. Um, and it really was boiled down to, do I want to teach or do I want to mm -hmm. help people? And the mm -hmm. helping people really became my main priority. Mm -hmm. And so um, I was glad to still stick within the music department. So yeah. I didn't have to learn a bunch of new faces. I got to stick with the professors I already knew mm -hmm. and the relationships I had built but I got to be very passionate about my degree mm -hmm. and my future career. Cool, that's awesome. So did you, were you more like the instrumental or vocalist side of music? Um, instrumentalist, okay. I was a tuba major and then I was on the drum line and in the steel mm -hmm. band. So I took some percussion lessons oh, okay. also. Cool. So I got to kind of be very diverse in mm -hmm. my, my music um, endeavors there. Yeah, that's great. So did you do, um, any of like the ensembles or the different music organizations in the School of Music? Yeah, I was um, pretty involved in a lot of the a lot of the organizations. Um, so my and with playing the tuba, I was in concert band, mm -hmm. and but then I was in marching band. I played on the drum line, so I played mm -hmm. cymbals and bass drum for. I did that for four years. Okay, um, and I loved it. It yeah. was. It was a huge passion. I I wish I could still do it today. Like, mm -hmm. um, I miss it. Um, and it, it's honestly one of the things that you become a family. Like mm -hmm. we we are together hours of a week, and so yeah. you just really get to build relationships that you wouldn't build otherwise. Mm -hmm. uh, and that was a huge turning point for me. Of like coming from Canton, which is a small town, mm -hmm. similar size to Macomb. I, I didn't feel out of place, but mm -hmm. I immediately found a family and I immediately found a group of people that I knew I would grow closer to. And every year I met new people and um, it just gave me a huge network of, as I as I came to Austin now, but I mm -hmm. still talk to a lot of the people I was in drumline with. Um, and then the other one was Steel Band. It's mm -hmm. a unique experience that most universities don't have. Mm -hmm. And so you get to play Steel Pans from Trinidad and Tobago. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, Very it, was, it was one of the things that I did that my starting my second semester freshman year. And mm -hmm. I did, I think total, I was in it 13 semesters. Like I, I did it every time I could. I was in, we had two bands at the time. I did both mm -hmm. bands. Um, like it was a major passion for me. Wow. So that's pretty cool. I didn't know they had that. So that's yeah. Awesome. So <laughs> did you do any, do any of like the student organizations um, related to music? I did. Um, we, I was in the music therapy student organization, mm -hmm. um, and in that, I was the public relations officer for oh, okay. 
couple years. And so just kind of at that point, social media was very different than yeah. it is today. <laughs> but um, just kind of starting to delve into what was it like to have a Facebook page mm-hmm. and, for an organization. Um, so looking back on it, it's really funny to see how much it's changed. But <laughs> Not everyone has a page. <laughs> huge deal. Yeah. Um, the other thing I did was I was the president um, for a Mu Phi Epsilon, which is the professional music fraternity. Oh, okay. Is that the all male one or the female male? It's the, um, yeah, the female and male. Okay. Uh, yeah. Cool. And so it taught me a lot. I wasn't, I wasn't really, um, wanting to do a, a fraternity, mm-hmm. but the longer I was in school, the more I realized how beneficial that Greek life can be. Mm-hmm. And so you have to kind of find your place. So for me, I liked that it was professional. I liked mm-hmm. that it was co-ed and I liked that it was centered just around music. Yeah. And so you know, joining it, I became, after my second semester, I became mm-hmm. the president, and I learned a great deal about myself as a leader. Mm-hmm. I learned how to lead a group of people that are very diverse and opinionated and passionate mm-hmm. and um, and just kind of be the best that the organization needed me to be. Yeah. So it was a wonderful experience, and I would do it again in a heartbeat. Yeah. I did Sigma Alpha Iota, which just nice. isn't too long, you know, that was established, but yeah, I had a friend who was actually in music therapy that we met on a Dis- the Disney communication course. Uh-huh. Um, and she's still one of my best friends. And she was one of the founding people for Sigma Alpha Iota. So I joined and I loved it because I loved yeah. doing, you know, music and stuff in high school. And it was a way to like get that back. And like you, I, I didn't want to necessarily do like a sorority, but yeah. I wanted to do something more professional. I know Sigma Alpha Iota was a great experience and mm-hmm. I love that I could just join it and I was a foreign language major. So like, uh, you know, and I got to make so many friends there. So it's great. Yeah. So we got to sing with um, that group as well. We did some things with them. So, yeah, I love that's that. They cool. just open. They're very opening to people of all different majors. And that's why one thing I always liked about the School of Music is like, you know, anyone can be on the band. Yeah. You know, um, anyone can join those uh, music fraternities. So I think that's great. Um, so, yeah. Did you do, yeah. I know you did musicals in high school, <laughs> uh-huh. since we were in Susical together. Um, did you do any of like the musical theater while you were there? Um, you know, I did not have time. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, you know, music, being a music major keeps you mm-hmm. really busy, and mm-hmm. being a theater major keeps you really busy, yeah. and it's kind of hard to cross those boundaries. Mm-hmm. Um, I did go to a lot of the performances, and we they have a wonderful department there, yeah. too. So. Um, yeah, I, I never did. Um, Mm -hmm. I really stuck with uh, music, um, for the most part. I will say one thing I did do that branched me out of the music department was being on the orientation team. And so I was on that in 2011 and got to meet all the incoming freshmen for the class. Okay, cool. Yeah, for the incoming 2012 class. And so... So I would have been at that orientation because that's when I started was 2012. So I I was at... So were you at the SOAR? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was there that year. (laughs) Maybe I was the year before you. Okay. But but either way, like, I mean, you know, I just... I would have never had the opportunity had Mm -hmm. I not been in the music department and really gotten to know all the staff there because Mm -hmm. one of my I worked in the music office and one of Mm -hmm. my bosses nominated me for that and so yeah and so I got a chance to meet all the incoming freshmen and Mm -hmm. advocated for everybody to join marching band or join choir (laughs) or you know just trying to like get people to get involved Mm -hmm. and that's that was just a huge honor to have that opportunity so So. were you a student worker then in the school of music I was in the student development orientation office so I did a lot Uh, yeah I was in school, I mean, changing my major halfway through, I was in school for um, six years, because mm-hmm. so, I kind of had to start over, Yeah. Uh, but which I'm actually thankful for. It gave me the opportunity to really like dive into music therapy, but also mm-hmm. dive into just Western as a whole. Yeah. So, so um, for music therapy, was there any like specific classes or like faculty that really like had an impact on you or like really influenced you during your... Um, time as a student or afterwards? Yeah. Um, I When I started music therapy, we had one professor, mm-hmm. and her name's Je- uh, Jennifer Jones, and okay. she's still there, and she was phenomenal. Mm-hmm. Um, supportive, and she was exactly what I needed. Um, mm-hmm. She kind of helped me organize my thoughts, figure out what I wanted to do, um, supported me through the ups and downs, mm-hmm. and 
helped me get on this road to like my my career i mean i'll i'll, I'll have been a music therapist for five years in mm -hmm. july and i could not have done that without her yeah uh, and i still lean on her today <laughs> um and it, the cool thing is it kind of happens you know i had her as a mentor and now i'm an internship director and i have one of her students and so oh, that's it's awesome. a circle of yeah. you know, on the torch and yeah. um, getting to train somebody who mm -hmm. also i mean it's one of her students but getting to see that and having that feedback has been really really supportive and helpful yeah that's great. um other professors i had two other ones the percussion faculty mm -hmm. um dr nichols and dr Karaz also mm -hmm. were very inspirational um coming in as a tuba player and really wanting to play mm -hmm. percussion they were very open and willing to help me yeah and it's made me a better music therapist so from mm -hmm. all the skills I learned from them. Every faculty is amazing in the music department. Um, and But those three especially have definitely impacted me. Yeah. So, so can you talk a little bit about, like, what, you know, like, what unique experiences you got as a music therapy suit? Like, what did you do mm -hmm. in, like, the clinic or working with um, bringing in, like, clients and whatnot? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, when I think about what I learned in music therapy, you know, music therapy is the it's the clinical and evidence-based use of music mm -hmm. to um accomplish individualized goals and so by by a credential professional so as a student it's a different relationship because you're still learning yeah and the big thing that i learned from that experience was going into a setting and having to be professional which was mm -hmm. a hard lesson at 21 and 22 and um you know just having to be a therapist and be, be that person <laughs> i needed to be for every client i met and there were times where i didn't do do well and mm -hmm. there were times where i feel like i mean i failed and and it was about picking myself up and growing from that and learning what i needed to do next time mm -hmm. and so whether that was the next semester or the next week mm -hmm. and that's where i really think jennifer jones was so instrumental in kind of giving me reality checks and helping mm -hmm. me helping me grow yeah. as a per and so i worked with a lot of different populations geriatrics mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. so people in a in nursing homes i worked with um teenagers with behavior needs and mm -hmm. emotional needs uh little kids on the autism spectrum mm -hmm. so i had i think that semester i had eight um two to four year olds mm -hmm. so it was a lot of singing a lot yeah. of playing a lot of moving <laughs> but you know so each each practicum gave me a different opportunity mm -hmm. to figure out my skills and what I was good at. And Jennifer really honed honed in like on what I was good at. And that's where I got into psych like the psych field, so mm -hmm. mental health. And that's where I'm at now. I work at an inpatient hospital in Austin, Texas, and I love it. I mm -hmm. mean I every day is a challenge. <laughs> every day brings new opportunities. But um, my time at Western really shaped that and mm -hmm. shaped where I'm at today. Mm -hmm. So that's great. So you, so, um, so what is your current position then? Are you like, is it titled as music therapist or what's the title? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's titled, I mean, technically my title is rehabilitation therapist Okay. because, um, it encompasses, I have employee or coworkers that are art therapists, dance movement mm -hmm. therapists, recreation therapists, and music therapists. Mm -hmm. We're all board certified and credentialed. And so it brings a high level of, um, of opportunity and a high mm -hmm. level of knowledge base. And so I get to come in as one of the three music therapists and share my passion for helping people with music. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, we're also different. We all come from different schools and different mm -hmm. backgrounds. And I think that's one of the things that I really love is I get to see what Western helped me, helped me hone mm -hmm. and helped me become even better. And most, the biggest thing is just being aware of who the person is mm -hmm. and how I can help them achieve their goals in that short time span. Um, so I work currently with children and adolescents. So I have kids as young as uh, four all the way up to 17. Wow. And, nice, uh, large range. Of... <laughs> it is. <laughs> but, um, you know, I, to just today I did... Um, a session where we pl I played guitar and the kids danced and we moved mm -hmm. and we just kind of worked on socializing and understanding body space mm -hmm. and um, then I moved to another session where I did a lyric analysis where we talked about supporting each other and um, supporting our own strengths with the teenage girls and so you know it's those are two completely different skill yeah. sets and I had to be prepared for that and I know I am and now mm -hmm. I'm able to also teach new interns those skills as well so that's awesome. It's, yeah, it's been a great experience, and I always count my blessings for going to Western. Yeah. So. <laughs> I'm with you there. 
Um, so do you have like any words of advice, um, possibly to like music students or even like local students, um, specifically? Yeah. Um, one is go to Western ready to learn. Mm -hmm. Um, know that you are not an expert, but know (laughs) that the people that are there are, and Mm -hmm. they want you to become experts. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I never felt like they, my professors were there to get a paycheck. I mm-hmm. felt like they were really there to teach me. And especially in the music department, I mean, it's a hard life. <laughs> it's a, you're there. There were days I was in class from 8 a.m. till 8 p.m., mm-hmm. I mean, nonstop. And so you're not there if you don't love it. Mm-hmm. Um, and the biggest thing I learned at Western and something I wish I would have known years before is just ask for help when you need it. Mm-hmm. Um, Western has so many support systems and I utilize them towards the end and I wish I would have utilized them the whole time. Uh, whether that's, you know, the, the English department's writing center or the counseling center or Mm -hmm. just everything they have. Uh, I never utilize that. And I think it probably would have made some, some of my transitions much easier. (laughs) Um, I think don't be afraid to try something new. You know, if I hadn't been willing to try steel band, mm-hmm. I would not have the love and passion for music that I do today. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's something that I, ne- I I wouldn't have gotten anywhere else. Um, and ultimately, I think the biggest thing I can say is that, you know, I came out of Western when I graduated. I came into the job force ready to work mm-hmm. and ready to take on what I needed to take on, but also really proud of everything that I accomplished. And that was something that I am very thankful for. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you, Jonathan, for taking the time to FaceTime me, even though it caught a little hard trying to get to work on my computer. Um, And thank you, everyone, for joining us.